What's up guys, PSF here, and today I have an awesome Yu Yu match against some guy by the name of Fukuda. But uh, it was a really interesting Yu Yu match because we both had some pretty weird teams going on. Mine was pretty standard, his was also pretty standard, but it just seemed weird as we got into the battle. So anyway, let's get on with the battle now. So, we're going to start off with my Victini, and he's going to start off with his Bronzong. Off the back, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the V-Create, because I don't think he can really do much to me anyway. So, um, now he sends in Kingdra, so I'm like, okay, I don't want to send a Waterfall, so I'm going to go into Polygon 2, just kind of sponge wherever you might want to go for it. And I get the download boost, so my special attack up, and he actually predicts me to switch out, so he goes ahead and sets up a Dragon Dance. And he hits me up for Waterfall, does 37%, not enough to kill me, but I hit him with a try attack, and he gets frozen, so now his Lumber is gone, so if he decides to outrage, he'll just get confused. So now I send him a champ, this is a little cooler for us, he's gonna predict me to do that, and go into his Chandelure, as I go for the Dynamic Punch, and obviously it's not gonna do anything because, uh, Chandelure is ghost type, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for my No Guard Stone Edge, so I don't have to worry about Stone Edge ever missing, but, um, that's just gonna keep, uh, keep on, keep on going for Stone Edge because I know he's probably just gonna keep trying to sub. I know, he knows he can outspeed me, but I damage count it, and even a Fire Blast from this range won't take me out, so I'm not afraid of the Fire Blast from this range. But usually I have seen it on occasions, Chandler with Terry Psychic, but he does not in this case, and he goes for the Fire Blast. He gets the burn too, but I don't think it matters because I will take him out for Stone Edge this turn, so that's what I'm going to do. It being that Chandler has a huge special attack. But anyway, I'm leaving this champ in his death body because he really can't do anything for me now. And the Gold Edge is going to take me off his Sludge Bomb. So I think it's Life Orb. So I don't think there's Sleep Powder. So I'm still safe enough to bring in my Victory and go ahead and go for that Choice Band. His Adamant Stab Victory. And it will be able to take out the uh, King Drop the Ranger Pal goes in. So now he's into this new. So looking back. I know I could have killed that thing one shot it was my thing, but I didn't want to risk him carrying the dark ball for anything and losing my thing before I really needed it. But here, I took him down too, and I go ahead and throw the Thunder Wave on him. It's not really going to matter at all, because Rosary to have natural cure, so as soon as he switches out, as he does now, he will heal himself. So I go for the Psychic, thinking, oh yeah, I can outspeed him now that he's at cripple one half, I mean one fourth, I mean eh, one third speed, but... Being especially defensive as Zatu is, I will be able to survive one Ice King and roost up the damage all the way. So, seeing as I can take another Ice King, and he actually gets a crit, but I still live. So, I did, I was able to throw the Thunder Wave on him, and yeah, that's mattered a lot because now he brings in his Roserade, covering in my Bettini, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I know I can survive one Sludge Bomb because I am just that boss. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go for that V-Create. It will be able to take out the Roserade. And now I'm gonna send back in his new. I don't know why. But um now that he's at one third speed, I will be able to outspeed him even with minus one speed and take him out with a choice band. The adamant stab V create. Now if it was in the sun, that would be like overkill. But I don't want to lose this PD, but it really doesn't matter at this point because it's at 4-1. So, I send in Zatu just to scout out what he might do and do Zatu's death on So, I send in Kingdra now and I don't want to send a thing to do dances at all. I don't want to risk it. And he goes for the Mega Horn and misses. So, I took this opportunity to go ahead and outrage. And he's going to Mega Horn. It will do a decent chunk where it'll be a 2 day KO. But I um, I just go ahead and hit him with the outrage. So, I do go second. So, anyway, if you enjoyed this battle, don't forget to hit that like button. And I'm sorry my narration is a little short. I just want to get a short battle uploaded because my nose is completely stuck and I feel so good. So, if my voice was stuck off that, I do apologize. But anyway, um, rate, comment, sub, and see you later, guys.